What most people think of when they think of architects is the design of buildings. And that's true, but it's only part of the profession. Harding as an institution is so unique. You'll be able to study in a place that has Christ as its focus. You will work alongside of students from all over the world and who share some of your same values. Architecture at Harding is going to take on that same DNA. It's going to have that same special environment that Harding has. It's um, studying architecture through the lens of, of your world, Christian worldview. First and foremost, architecture at Harding is going to prepare students for practice. Even though design and creativity are interwoven throughout every aspect of the program, uh, Harding is going to make sure that students leave here prepared to become licensed architects. We'll do that through involvement in real world scenarios, through practical experience and in internships, and through projects that are designed to not only stretch your creativity, but also give you experience with real world projects. Serving others is really at the core of what architecture is. We're not designing for ourselves, we're designing for others. And one of the ways that we want to do that at Harding is to serve our community. And architecture is not just for the elite, it's not, not intended to be something that only a few can afford, but that can really change the lives and benefit all, anyone. One of the foundational principles of Harding architecture will be ethics the recognition of the responsibility architects have for managing the resources of other people. Because the process of building and operating buildings is the largest user of resources on the planet today, architects have a responsibility to make sure that those processes are executed in a way that's as resilient and as sustainable as possible. Harding's architecture program is an accelerated program. And what that means is you begin your freshman year as an undergraduate student in architectural studies. In year three, you apply for the master's program. And by year four, you're taking both undergraduate classes and, our, and graduate classes. Then in year five, you finish up your graduate degree and then you will finish and graduate with both a Bachelor of Arts in Architectural Studies and a Master's in Architecture. We do have planned one summer that we'll be studying abroad. And when you study abroad, it just really provides you with insights that you couldn't get here on campus. Um, you are in a classroom and you're learning about these incredible places and the buildings and the history. But to stand in front of them or to go inside them just enriches your experience as an architecture student and it'll stay with you for the rest of your career. You know, from the first time I set foot on the Harding campus, I recognized that this was a different place than what I had experienced at other educational institutions. Small class sizes make it possible for there to be stronger relationships between professors and students. The professors at Harding truly care about the success of their students. Beautiful buildings are important and buildings themselves serve just a primary need. But when you put the people who are gonna be using the building and living in the building first at the center of all the decisions that you make, that's a very Christian way to design and that's how you would be taught at Harding. That's our philosophy.